How's it going? Five minutes with Mike. Let's begin. Let's say every day I wake up your family, your friends, by telling them they're not good enough. They're not smart enough. They're not brave enough. They're whatever. They are not enough. What would you do? What would you think? Would you defend them? Would you tell me I'm wrong? Would you support them and their abilities? Of course you would. So then why, when you wake up in the morning, are your first thoughts, I don't get enough? I don't get enough sleep. I don't get enough money. I don't have enough smarts. I don't have enough whatever. Work, life, school. These thoughts of not enough, those shape your outlooks for the rest of the day. That is the way the brain works. It responds to what you believe about yourself. And it works really hard to strengthen those thoughts. It puts them into action. So then you go through the day fulfilling the very thoughts that you had that morning of not enough. And then you're confused why it keeps happening to you. Well, I hate to break it to you. It's not happening to you. It's happening through you. You. Your thoughts lead to actions. They invite people and things into your life to support the very thoughts you began your day with. So no, things don't just randomly keep happening to you. They are the result of you. These I'm not safe enough statements need to stop. You need to shift them into value statements of potential and possibility. So instead of I'm not safe enough, how about I'm not safe enough can become I will work to create a safe space for myself and others by living in support of kindness and gratitude. Now, when you give yourself permission to be enough, Here's what happens. You move your mindset. I am enough is all about worthiness instead of shame. I've had enough creates boundaries of possibility versus comparisons of negativity. Stepping up and showing up is enough because then you're engaging instead of avoiding. By starting your day with I am enough statements, your perspective shifts from chasing success to choosing happiness so as to be successful. What you do is you replace to-do list with what to become list. I hope, I should, maybe I could become phrases that other people speak, but no longer serve your life of I can, I am, and I always will be. Why and how does this work? By pausing at the beginning of the day and throughout the day to reflect and connect with your values and your belief. You need to notice when you are aware and out of balance, and then you need to Realign your thoughts and words so they get back into harmony with your life. By constantly but only momentarily pausing, self-reflecting, you slow down. That's when you can think and question and explore and let go and reset your mind and your life and get back on track. You know when people say every dawn is a new day? Not if you don't believe in yourself every morning. It's just the same day. So tomorrow and the next day and every morning after, here's what I need you to do. Wake up. Believe. Believe why and how you are enough. And allow your belief to renew your every day. Remember, only when you become comfortable with who you are will you become comfortable with where you are. Five minutes with Mike. Believe in yourself. Peace.